Okay, today we are going to add a database to our workbench. Workbench or MySQL workbench is one of the best DBMSs that we have. And uh, we are going to open it right now. When you open the workbench, first of all, you have to connect to your local instance. You need a password, so I have to think about the password that I have. I will type my password and I hope it's correct. Just in case I will save the password in the vault. Good. Now I am connected. And just for the first thing that you have to do is click on the schemas. There are some default schemas or pre-installed schemas in your DPMS, but we want to add a database. So what I am going to do is to minimize the DBMS and open my internet browser. Just let's search for a MySQL Oh, is there a sample database? There are several databases that you can use. I will talk about some of them later, but I just found a database in mysqltutorial.org. Click on it. MySQL sample database. Download it. That's the database. One of the simplest way to open the database is right click on the database and open it. There will be a list of programs that you can use. You can directly use MySQL Workbench right now, but I'm going to show you a different way, right? Click on the notepad or you can use WordPad or any other word or text editor. Now you can see the data. You can see the scripts. And what I need to do is just with the control A, I will select all the text. I will copy it to the copy it to the memory with the control C. And then I will go back to my skill for which. What I need right now is in my query window, I will click on the query window and using the control V, I will paste the code and then just with this Thunderbolt icon, I will execute. What you are seeing is the execution of the code. Oh, I have a warning, it doesn't matter. I hope and let's refresh the schemas and there it is we have a new database with the name of classic models if you open it or expand it you will see the tables we use store procedures function and we will talk about all of them later if you expand the tables there are customers employees offices order details, orders, payment, product lines, and products in the database. And I think that all of these tables are related to a car factory. As we just restored our first database, there is no need for the query window anymore, so I will close it. And I will open a new SQL query window. Now I can write any queries that I want in this 
empty window so that's all for the restoring database we will start working with the classic models in the next video